Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Today I thought we'd do a species profile on the Thomas Cichlid Tuber. The Thomas Cichlid Tuber has been one of my wish list cichlids for as long as I can remember. The first time I really come across them was when I was watching a video by Wilhelm Hines called Cichlids from the Crater Lakes where there's a great scene of the female tuber leading a fry through through a, a river in Lake Nicaragua. Ever since then I was desperate to get hold of them but couldn't find them anywhere. None of the people that I used to bring stuff in from from, uh, from the States like Jeff Rapps, they were never ever on the lists. Nobody in the clubs had them and you just couldn't find them for love and the money. The Thomas Cichlid tuber come from Central America, from Nicaragua and Costa Rica. There is a, there is a lot of different colour morph, morphs of them depending on where they're caught. Here's two of them here. In the wild, they come from fast flowing rivers. Um, the water's clear, and depending on where you catch them, the temperature can be between 23 degrees Celsius and 33 degrees Celsius. And the pH can be anywhere between 6.8 right up to 8.5, depending on the locality and the season. The males can get up to 14 inches in the wild, with the females about 10 inches but in the home aquarium I'd say a few inches smaller to probably up to about 12 inches for the male they are quite long lived and can live up to 12 years the herbivores and they like eating leaves, algae, fruit and in the wild it's not uncommon to find them underneath trees with fruit on them just waiting for the fruit to drop into the water the substrate spawners and are said to be good parents. The fry are quite unusual, they have three vertical black bars and they look like bumblebees. Interestingly, the sister species, the Tomasicla afraki fry, also show the same sort of coloration. They were described by me in 1912 and there's been a lot of confusion between the Tomasicla tuber and the Tomasicla underwood eye. From all the research that I've done, it looks like the underwood eye was described a little bit earlier by Regan in 1908. The underwood eye later, be later became a junior secondary name of the Herichthys underwood eye, which was described by Regan in 1906. That's now a junior synonym of the uh, cyborg eye. When Meek placed both, the, both of these species in Cyclosoma, it caused a duplication in name. Once the name has been replaced, it's permanent, even though Underwoody was proposed as valid in, in 2016. It is thought that they were first imported into the hobby in the early 80s through French and German aquarists who were visiting Central America seeking uh, new species. It's said to be a difficult species to keep in the aquarium, with some well-known hobbyists reporting difficulty right back in the 80s and 90s. When keeping youngsters, it's not unusual for some of them to stop eating and fade away and die. But this is said to pass once they reach maturity. They're an intelligent species and can recognise their owner. And once you're standing in front of the tank feeding them, they do come out readily waiting for food to be dropped in. But they can become quite timid and hide when strangers are around. In the wild, they share the habitat with other moderately aggressive cichlids such, such as the Amatolania stephanfasciata, Amatolania sequia, 
Ampholophus citronellus, and the Nicaragua Gwent. These would all make suitable tank mates, but you've got to keep them in low density in a large tank. They do like to have the room. I'm lucky to have a group of three of them. I did start off with six in September, but three of them one by one did stop eating and fade away. But the group that I've got, the, the three that I've got left, are doing really well. They're about three inches now, but they are quite slow growing. I'm hoping to get some more in the near future. Hoping to grow them onto maturity and breed them in the future. I'll keep you updated with future videos on how I get on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification to be informed of when the next video goes up, and I'll see you all again next week.